Hello and welcome to the Alt Crypto Gems YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to show you how to use the popular cross-chain decentralized exchange known as SushiSwap, which allows you to swap, bridge, provide liquidity, farm, stake, and gain access to awesome features throughout 32 of the largest layer one and layer two EVM compatible networks, including Ethereum, Aptos, Base, the BNB chain, Blast, and many more we will show you in this video. Remember, nothing in this video is financial advice, purely my own opinion based on my own research, do not invest in anything you can't afford to lose. Use a burner wallet if you feel more comfortable. And be sure to smash that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment if you have any questions whatsoever. And be sure to follow us on Twitter at AltCryptogen for daily crypto content. And check out our website for frequent guides, project reviews, articles, and everything crypto related. Friends, let's dive straight into the video. All right, then, ladies and gentlemen, we're officially on the Sushi Swap website, which is sushi.com. We've officially got the X page, which is at Sushi Swap. Give them a follow, turn the notification bells on to stay up to date with the latest features. Even down below, you can see their pin tweet, which is introducing Sushi's most exciting and ambitious project to date, Susa X, the most powerful perpetual exchange in crypto. Therefore, guys, if you're one for leverage trading, which I am not myself, you can get yourself started with Susa X. I am not going to go through that in this video however i can leave that linked in the description below nonetheless what we're going to be doing is my friends we're going to be using the sushi.com website to swap tokens we can do that either natively on one chain or we can even cross chain swap across 15 chains including ethereum arbitrum optimism polygon base and many more all you have to do is activate it by clicking that button but we will get into that later on in the video for now what we're going to do is guys we're going to simply show you how to swap provide liquidity if we can access the bonds then we will we're going to stake and also show you some of the other features available on the sushi.com website you can actually replicate everything we do on one chain with any other chain so for example if we use any of the chains here so we've got ethereum aptos rootstock like i said there's 32 networks so whatever network that you use you can simply swap assets exactly the same assuming that you have assets in that network so therefore guys i'm assuming that you already have an evm compatible wallet such as metamask which as you can see we have many different networks set up we have zk sync we have base we have scroll we have so many different networks here that you can see and that we are using therefore guys we can swap so many different tokens on so many different networks and we can do that all through the sushi swap app by using our metamask wallet therefore the first step of this video guys is to connect your wallet we're going to be choosing the metamask wallet obviously like i mentioned if you feel more comfortable using a burner wallet then by all means use one however i'm going to be using my primary wallet to be swapping tokens so as you can see guys i am currently on the base network as i've currently got the base network active in my wallet if i was to swap between another network for example zk sync it would automatically do so so you know that it's compatible with so many different networks here my friends however depending on the network you choose will depend on the tokens that you'll be swapping therefore if you just for example were on the ethereum network or if you're on avalanche or whatever it may be you're going to need to have the primary token being the gas token if you don't know that then obviously you need to understand that before you continue with the video so every single network has a gas token for example the base or every single layer two of ethereum uses the ethereum token for gas and then you have layer ones such as avalanche phantom polygon pos all of which use their different tokens such as avax matic and ftm so you can see that all here guys if we were to use Use polygon obviously we'd have to swap using matic tokens if you have for example avax once again you would use the layer one token of that network being avax nonetheless i'm going to be using base in this video as the first primary swap we can swap from base to other networks and i'm going to show you how to do so shortly the first simple step guys what we want to do is now swap ethereum over to another asset being i don't know usdc it could be any of the tokens that are available on the base ecosystem for example if you scroll down you can see a list of verified tokens on the sushi swap decks so if you did want to buy any of these guys be cautious make sure you do your thorough research if you have a token in mind that you wanted to buy then great so for example i'm just going to do usdc to keep it simple and sweet and that is one of the most popular traded tokens in the entirety of crypto so let's just say i swapped i don't know 0.01 ethereum which is 30 dollars i'm going to click swap eth for usdc and then from here we're going to confirm the transaction in our metamask wallet i personally use a hardware wallet myself so if you do use one then obviously a hardware wallet will prompt up this is an extra precaution for safety and something that i do across the entirety of web3 just to let you know however if you don't have a hardware wallet then it will just be as simple as clicking confirm in your metamask wallet so 
As you can see, guys, we have now officially got $30 worth of USDC, the stable coin. If you haven't got the token in your wallet, which as you can see, I've already got it listed here, then you can scroll down and import tokens. You need to get the token contract address, which you can do by going over to an official price tracker such as CoinMarketCap, which as you can see, if we go over to USDC on CoinMarketCap and we go over to more, we scroll down, we want to find the base network, obviously, because that is the network we are using. And then once you find it, as you can see here, we're going to copy this address to clip board if we go up into our metamask wallet now scroll down import tokens and paste as you can see it's already been added therefore if you haven't added it already you can just click next and it will be there however you can now use usdc across the base network to do whichever you wish if you wish to hold usdc if you wish to provide it in a liquidity pool if you wish to swap it in another token you can do so if you wanted to all you would do is guys you would simply click the reverse button now usdc would be up top and that is the token you are swapping from assuming that you have ethereum still in your wallet which you should in order to pay for transactional fees like i mentioned and say for example i swapped into another token we've got usdbc which is the native base stable coin or we've got toby here andy i'm not recommending to buy those however they're just there in my wallet we could buy brett the popular base meme coin or you could even buy the native token sushi which is obviously the sushi swap token and i'll get into that shortly you could even buy layer zero the airdrop token that we received and the choice is yours my friends but for now what i want to do is i want to progress into the next step seeming that you know how to swap to and from what we can do from here guys is we can provide liquidity so in the top left corner we have pools now that we've got two different assets we have usdc and and ethereum we can now provide assets in a dual sided liquidity pool you want to scroll down and then you want to click networks you want to filter it down by base seeming as that is the network that we have our assets on right now obviously we've got eth and usdc therefore we're going to find the eth to usdc pool which right here there's a tvl of sixty eight thousand dollars in the last 24 hours we've seen five hundred twenty four thousand dollars in volume this has got an apr of 141 percent guys i'm not saying by any means to invest in this i'm not a financial advisor whatsoever i'm just simply showing you a tutorial on how to provide liquidity in the sushi swap decks although it does provide you with passive income guys it can be very risky and you do need to understand all the risks involved before providing liquidity or investing a single dime however to show you how to do it i'm going to simply create a position here I'm going to scroll down and then as you can see we can see our balance of 30 usdc and 0.09 ethereum i just want to balance it out as you can see depending on your range the supply tokens for the position will not always be a 50 50 ratio bear that in mind guys so say if i just did 12 dollars, i'm going to do 12 dollars worth of usdc and i'm going to do 12 dollars worth of eth just to balance it out it's roughly 22 cents more on the ethereum side but i am not too concerned about that it is not much of a jump i'm going to confirm and approve the smart contract and then once we do that, we can then deposit our assets into the liquidity pool. Now, I'm going to click preview. I'm going to add liquidity, confirm. And very soon, our assets will be deposited into the pool. As we can see, successfully added liquidity to the ETH to USDC pet. So if we go back, we can see my positions right here. Position size, $24.22. Here, guys, we'll be able to claim fees once, obviously, people start swapping ETH to USDC on the Sushi Swap decks, and we start getting those fees from the liquidity pool. Obviously, the more you deposit, the more you'll earn. The less you deposit, the less you'll earn. Be very cautious with the risk, guys. However, another thing to note is we could be potentially qualifying for a base airdrop just by providing liquidity. That's correct. What happened with ZK Sync could very well happen with base. And I wouldn't be too surprised if it is a multiplier or if it is an eligibility requirement by providing liquidity on the base network before the airdrop goes live. However, if you're interested more into airdrops or if you don't know what airdrops are, I will leave the full base airdrop link in the description below or you could even check out our crypto airdrop playlist guide with over 124 different videos. Guys, there's free crypto airdrops. There's airdrops from all different ecosystems. Feel free to check it out. We take you step by step along the whole way. However, now that you've provided liquidity on the Susi Swap DEX, what is another feature we can use? Well, they have the bonds feature, my friends. However, it isn't currently available or appearing on my desktop right now. Therefore, I can't actually show you any of the bonds that are available. However, I'm assuming that there are none available right now and hence, why we can't see any or it just might take half an hour to load or an hour to load but i've had it up for a while and i have not been able to see anything nonetheless i look forward to being able to see any kind of bombs that do come up on sushi swap at all but we're not going to be wasting our time here for now what we're going to do is guys we're going to show you the staking mechanism now i absolutely love sushi bar staking why because for every swap on sushi a portion of the swap fee is locked into the liquidity pool awaiting to be served to x sushi holders so 
Very simply by swapping into sushi tokens, you actually get the X sushi token. And what happens is guys, you will earn an APY on those tokens. So at the moment for the monthly APY, we've got 20.13%. As you can see here, the APY display, there's an algorithmic and subject to change. So it does change guys, it could go up, it could go down, bear that in mind. However, staking sushi is very simple. All you have to do is get your assets on Ethereum. So you'd have to switch to the Ethereum network. If for example, the Ethereum GUI is low like it is today, as you can see, GUI is currently at three, therefore gas prices are very cheap and using the Ethereum network right now is very cheap. So you know we're on the Ethereum network. I haven't got that much assets on the Ethereum network. As you can see, I've got roughly $50 worth of assets on the Ethereum mainnet in this wallet anyway. However, what you would do is you would simply come over to swap. You would go here and obviously you would swap into these sushi tokens now let's just say i'm going to get myself 13.5 sushi tokens i'm going to swap any token guys it's completely up to you you don't even have to do this step yes it might cost you a few dollars in fees to use the ethereum mainnet but this is just a tutorial i'm not telling you to stake whatsoever i'm just simply showing you how to do it on the ethereum mainnet and stake your sushi tokens i'm going to personally be doing this guys this is just a tutorial of the video so as you can see guys it is now swapping so if we go up into our metamask we just have to wait for the transaction to process as you can see is now confirmed and we are swapping and we have now got 13.5 sushi therefore if we go over to stake what we're going to do is we're now going to scroll down and we're going to click max on the stake it's up to you however many you want to stake i'm personally going to be doing 13.5 and if you're wondering why we're getting less x sushi tokens because as you can see here for one sushi is equal to 0.711 x sushi they are valued at the same price however you are receiving the same value amount nonetheless we're going to approve sushi in our wallet we're going to click next we're going to approve and very simply guys we will start earning 20.13% APY which is variable so bear that in mind however we are now going to start earning some APY and some passive income from the sushi decks not only just by staking but from the liquidity that we've provided however once you've approved it we're just going to click stake we're going to scroll down click confirm confirm the transaction and very shortly we will see our staked balance over here under your balance right now we've got a sushi available balance of 13.5 but very soon we'll see it into x sushi just like that at 9.61 which is valued at just under nine dollars now i told you guys this is not telling you to obviously buy and stake sushi this is just showing you how to do it and also by staking our sushi tokens we get sushi power which enables us to vote in the dao which is the sushi swap dao which allows us to vote on the proposals in the governance very nice and something that is obviously a great factor of decentralization nonetheless my friends we also have another feature known as sushi pay now most of us are not going to be using this feature however if your boss uses cryptocurrencies to pay you then maybe you could recommend this feature where they can actually automate salaries on the sushi swap decks which is absolutely a unique feature which sushi pay allows you to stream any erc20 to any wallet create a simple stream to automate salaries or create a vest for vesting schedules therefore guys it could be any token such as usdc ethereum anything you wish your boss can pay you directly into your wallet using the sushi swap decks to pay your salary very cool but not something that we're going to be using another thing we can do buy crypto now here guys is an on-ramp option which allows you to buy crypto directly into your wallet obviously by using a credit card debit card or revolut pay this is absolutely amazing and a great way of onboarding users that aren't too used to buying crypto at all and this will enable them to then swap tokens on networks such as ethereum However, one more thing that we were going to go through, like I mentioned, is the sushi swap cross chain decks. So you can swap across 15 decentralized exchanges and all you have to do is activate it by clicking this button here. And voila, we have a slightly new user interface. So scrolling down, we can choose the from network and the to network. So obviously the from network above will be the network that we're swapping from. And then the network below will be the network that we're swapping to. Therefore, if I swap, for example, from base once again, I've got Ethereum or I even have my USDC tokens, which I have $18 left. Let's just say I want to take it over to Linear. I know I already have Ethereum tokens on the Linear network, but I've also got USDC tokens on the Linear network. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to swap USDC to USDC from base to Linear. Then I'm going to swap my tokens on the Linear network. However, this is how you perform a cross-chain swap. You can replicate it with any of the chains available, assuming that you have the gas tokens. Once again, we have to approve the transaction. We click swap 
and the swap USDC. At the end of the video, guys, I will also show you a website to improve your security on your wallet. If you feel like you've been approving too many smart contracts and you might have some still up, then we can revoke them and make sure our wallet is safe. However, I have now officially confirmed the transaction and we are now waiting for the cross-chain swap to process. As you can see, it has been powered by the Squid protocol. The bridging to the destination chain is now the next stage. And then very simply, soon we should be able to see our tokens move over, which here in our wallet, we've got zero USDC on base. If we go over to Linear before they already send it, we are now going to wait for around another $18 to send over. And voila, as you can see, we now have $44.24 on the Linear network. From here, guys, we could either A, swap our tokens from the Linear network into another network, or B, we can perform a normal swap once again by using the Linear network, which we're currently connected to. And then we would go from the top token being the USDC token, and then swapping into ETH, which is obviously the token that we want to end up with. Therefore, I'm going to click next and approve. I'm going to confirm the transaction. I'm going to click swap, swap USDC for ETH, confirm it. And bang, we have now got 0.014 Ethereum in our wallet, taking us up to a total of just under 110. And guys, that is the end of the video. Basically, we've shown you how to swap. We've shown you how to cross-chain swap. We've shown you how to provide liquidity. We've shown you how to stake. We've shown you how to on-ramp cryptos, such as your fiat currencies, and turn it into Ethereum by using the buy feature. And we've also shown you the pay feature and the bonds feature, which are very simple and obviously the bonds weren't available however another thing that you can do which is very optional guys which is not on the sushi swap website is by completing official sushi swap quests over on layer 3 as you can see they've got one quest available right here 45,000 to finish i'm going to be sending you guys a link where you can complete these quests and all it is is as simple as for example holding ethereum on the polygon network and then claiming that quest or coming over here to DeFi summer 101 and swapping into a token it's all available on the sushi swap layer 3 quests and there are definitely going to be more to come. I've completed more than just of these two quests, my friends, and I know there are going to be more. And one more thing before we leave, like I said, I was going to show you how to increase the security of your wallet. If you use revoke.cash, you can actually check out all the smart contracts that you've still approved. So for example, we know that we've been using the base network. So if we check out the base network, we have got zero approvals here. So we don't have anything to worry about as I know of, or what I know anyway, touch wood. If I go up, we use the Ethereum network as well. Let's see if we've got any approvals, zero approvals. Once again, if we scroll down to linear, which is another network we used in this video, as you can see, zero approvals. However, if you did have an approval, you would just connect your wallet and click the revoke button. And then off you go you are just going to disconnect your wallet go up into metamask and then we've used all these applications which we are now finished with click disconnect and disconnect we've also got crypto airdrop guides if you are interested in it just like when we're providing liquidity on the base network another thing is guys i've been recently using the Whoopcast platform this is the crypto x version we have also got an airdrop guide on this as well i think this one's going to be absolutely huge it is developed by farcaster and they have raised over 180 million dollars as you can see here even vitalik buterin has got an account himself and if you want to follow me which i'll follow you back it's at oxd theo which is exactly the same as my x account so friends i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you want to see any similar content or any content in particular please don't hesitate to let us know we appreciate you all so much and we currently have a promotion running on bybit the best centralized exchange platform for buying trading and earning bybit is home to all your favorite cryptocurrencies and you can claim up to four thousand three hundred eighty dollars just by signing up using the link in the description below it's simple. If you need help finding the right crypto gems, then follow us on Twitter at Alt Crypto Gems and head over to our website to get your hands on detailed project reviews, crypto guides and more. Thank you very much for watching and we hope you found this video helpful and informative. Until next time DGENs.